Hey guys, everyone, welcome back once again to the channel. More Sunship content for you today. And today we're going to be looking at a nice, efficient production for gas canisters. We're going to be producing every type of gas canister in your micro factory. It's a design we're quite proud of, and we hope you're going to like it too. Gas canisters, of course, are key to being able to incorporate your heat and ice guns, as well as a variety of other quests and, no doubt, some materials upcoming in the future as well. So they are a key component to have on your sandship and we're going to show you exactly how we make this design for you guys today. So let's get straight into our sandbox building. There's currently four different types of gas canister you can make at the moment. You've got the hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and regular gas canister, which means we are going to be quite limited in this design. We're going to need three synthesizers for each type. So it only leaves us two synthesizers left to produce the steel needed to craft the gas canisters themselves. So we're going to start off with our synthesizer. We're going to be using some fast tech for the steel inputs just to try and maximize the outputs we can achieve. So we're going to place a fast splitter down, a bit of belt, and then again, two more splitters here. The idea being we're going to have four different mixer buildings as is required. We're going to heat these up first with the heaters and then place down our four mixers. And that will conclude the iron part of the design. Now we're also going to need carbon to finalize the steel design. So we're going to place another synthesizer down here and we're going to stick with the fast tech, belt this around before placing two further fast splitters down and then four more heaters to make sure the carbon is the correct temperature as it goes in. We're then going to place a press down in the middle before taking the underground belt outside past the synthesizer so we've got a nice exit point. So in order to squeeze as much output as we can we're just going to place two fast grabbers either side of the iron production. We're going to feed those into the splitter to just increase the output a little bit more. No need to use fast belts on this, it doesn't make a difference to the output. So in order to produce the gas canisters we're going to need steel gears and steel pipes. The steel we've exported using these underground belts here is going to form the steel gear production. So we're just going to belt this down to the bottom where the gas canisters are going to be eventually made, turn those into steel gears with a shaper, making sure to heat them along the way otherwise they're not going to be the correct temperature. And then we're going to guide this round just like so. Now looking at the top, we're gonna to use the top and bottom steel outputs as steel pipe production. So we're gonna need a press. We're gonna use a fast grabber into the mechanical assembler just to try and optimize the output, selecting the recipe of steel pipe and placing another grabber directly into the underground belt so we can again get the steel pipes down into the right place. We're gonna do exactly the same down at this bottom steel exit point here. Again, using a fast grabber into the mechanical assembler and using a regular grabber to export that. And then we're going to belt that round just like so. Now in order to maximize the steel pipe production we can actually place a third mechanical assembler just in the top corner here. We're going to be using regular long grabbers here as if you use a fast long grabber you're going to compromise the production on the steel gears and you won't be producing as much as a result so stick to regular long grabbers here and again that's going to feed into the underground belt and come out at the same exit point. So with all our raw materials now in place, we can start to build the gas canisters. We're gonna need more mechanical assemblers to do that. We're only gonna use two here. And we're gonna use regular grabbers again, keeping the cost down. It won't affect the output and selecting the gas canister recipes like so. Now in order to export the gas canisters from the mechanical assemblers, we're gonna again use two long regular grabbers and then start to build the final elements of the gas canisters here. So in order to make sure we've got a nice even split across all the different types, we're gonna split this off twice. We're gonna export the regular gas canisters with the exporter here. Now we've got three synthesizers left to use to complete all the types of gas canisters. We're gonna place down three appliers at the end of each of these belts here, three exporters directly after them, to finish things off, our third synthesizer is going to be hydrogen, as already selected. We're going to change the fourth synthesizer to nitrogen, and then we're going to place our fifth and final synthesizer, changing that to oxygen. And there you have it, guys. This is the final design. We're going to turn this on, and hopefully we shall have some nice, healthy outputs of gas canisters here. As you can see here guys, 0.18 for each type of gas canister. It's a really healthy amount for your micro factory production here. So as a result of this, you're gonna be producing each type of gas canister every five or so seconds, which is gonna give you 
nice healthy amounts once you come back online this design very much favors the more idle production so if you do go away for several hours and come back online you'll have nice full reserves once this has been left running so we can also see due to the lower output that the substance expense is also very small which is also more of an issue now as substance harvesters have been capped to 20 per sand ship so saving on your substance expense is also an extra benefit of this design so if we jump over to the blueprint now we can see that the price is actually very cheap as well only 64k owing to the fact that we've limited the fast take down to as little as possible due to the fact it's such a low price you can actually have maybe two or three of these running at the same time and really start to maximize the output of your gas canisters as a result so let's save this design and get it into our micro factory to start producing those gas canisters so here we are guys in our micro factory let's place down this gas canister build and turn it on as we can see producing each and every type of gas canister as promised and we're not going to have any supply issues now when we come to buy our heat and ice guns and also completing those missions as well we hope you've enjoyed this one guys we're pretty proud of this one this design has taken pride and place on our sand ship and if you like this feel free to incorporate it on yours as well we'll be back with more new material designs on the next episode but as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye